order to create a mixed-use complex that will include apartments, offices, and retail spaces, archaeologists have been excavating land that once held one of Shakespeare's theaters. William Shakespeare and his troupe, Lord Chamberlain's men, performed at the Curtain Theater from 1597 to 1599. This is where the first performance of Romeo and Juliet is believed to have been held. Items found in the site include a bird whistle, which was likely used as a sound effect, and a hair comb made of animal bone. Glass beads and pins that probably came from an actor's costume were found amongst the site's ruins, as well as money pots used for collecting fees from audience members. Unlike most Elizabethan theaters, the well-preserved remains of the curtain are rectangular in shape instead of a round amphitheater. Archaeologists found secret passages ways underneath the stage, where actors could have changed costumes or moved around without having been seen by the audience, which is not a feature found in other theaters of its time. When the dig is complete, the remains of the building will be preserved, and the artifacts will be on display at the new building complex that will be built around it, appropriately named The Stage. I'm TC Newman for Buzz 60. Now you know, pass it on.